Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Joe Weisenfelder with Cars.com. You probably think this is your average, everyday Toyota Prius, and in some ways it is. But then there's this. The Prius plug-in is, in effect, the third approach to plug-in cars. We've already seen the regular old battery electric uh, car like the Nissan Leaf or the Ford Focus Electric. Uh, and then there's the extended range electric like the Chevy Volt or even the Fisker Karma that goes a certain distance on electric power and then a gas generator kicks in and keeps you going. This is very much like a regular Prius, but it has a larger battery pack that you fill with good cheap and potentially clean energy before you even drive. What this car does is it gives you a higher capacity battery uh, and you can plug it in. So what's happening is you're leaving your home with a full battery pack. Now in this case, the Prius plug-in will allow you to drive in electric mode alone for up to about 15 miles. Not a lot of distance, but it's not just about how far you go in EV mode. Now the regular Prius supposedly allows you to accelerate in electric mode, but not really. You gotta go really light on the accelerator up to, you know, maybe 25 miles an hour, and if you give it too much pedal, the engine turns on. This is a little different here. It lets you accelerate at a reasonable clip without really ticking off the people behind you, and you can go up to about 65 miles per hour electric only, but if you go for full power uh, or you're climbing a hill, it will turn the gas engine on. So it's not quite like what you're gonna get in a range extended electric like the Chevy Volt. The interior of the plug-in Prius is essentially the same in terms of spaciousness, features, etc. Uh, as the regular hybrid. It even has the same very lo-fi, somewhat embarrassingly cheap looking graphics. There are a few different menus that actually help you uh, maximize your EV driving in this car. Uh, if you hit the display button on the steering wheel, you get first the regular energy flow monitor, shows whether power is going to the battery, from the battery, if the engine is running or not. There's another one here that has charge on one side, power on the other, and there's a range in the middle that if you stay within a certain limit will keep you in EV range and uh, that is where it is much better than the regular hybrid where uh, there's really no indication and the engine's turning on all the time. There's also a readout aside from that that shows you the percentage of driving you're doing in electric mode versus regular gas hybrid mode. It shows you both percentage and number of miles for each and the number of kilowatt hours you've spent versus the number of gallons you've burned. The Prius plug-in comes with a very simple charging cord, 110, 120 volt plug. You can plug it in virtually anywhere. It has a very nice long cord, which I appreciated. And on the other end, you've got a standardized connector that is the same one used on a lot of the other EVs I mentioned. And it goes in very simply. A little light comes on when it's dark out, which is nice. And you can charge an empty battery up to full in less than three hours at this level. Now, because it has a compatible connector, you can also attach a level two charger, the type that the other cars also use, and it'll fill in about an hour and a half. The amount of juice that this thing holds amounts to less than 50 cents if you charge overnight. Generally speaking, pretty cheap stuff, about half the cost of running the same distance on gasoline. Even in a car as efficient as this one, about 50 miles per gallon combined city highway driving. Now the larger battery pack is in the cargo area as it is in the regular Prius and it doesn't make much difference in the cargo space. It also adds some weight, more than 100 pounds, so the suspension is revised slightly and I think the ride is rougher than the regular Prius, but I guess decent enough. So what does the Prius plug-in cost? Well, the cheaper one is $32,000, and that's about $8,000 more than the most affordable regular Prius. It's a lot of money. Uh, is it worth it? You will have to determine that. Uh, it seems like the type of car you want that has a power cord depends on what you intend to do with it. This seems like a good car to have if you're driving a lot of short trips in the city, but occasionally want to take a very long trip where you can take advantage of the 50 miles per gallon combined. The electric range of less than 15 miles on the Prius plug-in is sure to leave people thinking, what's the point? Uh, I have to say, I'm not convinced either, but even though the car hasn't spread across the country yet, it's only available in some areas at the end of 2012, it's selling very well already. And I think that's because there's such a loyal Prius owner base already.
For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.